Hey, so I just wanted to show off um, some ideas uh, I'm working on with my uh, beat step sequencer program. Um, here I've got uh, hydrogen loaded, and this is just like a Linux uh, MIDI drum machine program. Uh, it has like a sequencer. Um, it's pretty good for uh, testing drum stuff because it's just got some nice kits like built in. So uh, first thing I'll do is I'll load a kit here. And that's pretty quiet. Let me turn that up. Um, okay. And uh, so the second thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my little um, interceptor. Um, and I'm just in the directory and I ran npm start. And then in hydrogen, I'm going to look at my uh, MIDI system and I'm gonna make sure it's set to extended beat step um, that's the default. You can set it to something else if you want. And okay. So now, um, whatever I do on this thing, um, should go through my program into hydrogen. So, uh, first of all, if we, if we play on, um, instrument one, we should get a kick drum cause that's that. Um, now there's two things that the original beat step didn't do, uh, which are you can select different patterns, which are just notes on the instrument and hydrogen maps those notes to drums. So we've got kick drum on one and we've got snare on, uh, you know, three. Um, and then also there's the shift button, which lets you select different patterns. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, so, okay. So let's, um, Let's build a, a little a little beat. And let's see how it sounds. Now I think it's a little bit slow. So let's speed it up. I just turn this knob. Um, it outputs a BPM here and I, I don't think it's accurate yet. I, I have to work on that, but at least you can change the speed. Um, okay, now you can you can uh, switch to different instruments and you can switch to different patterns while it's playing, um, but it can be kind of hard to see what's going on just because there's lots of lights and stuff. Um, so let's add a closed hi-hat, that's on nine. and an open hi-hat, which is on 11, instrument 11. Okay, so if we go back to our kick channel, you can look at any of them that you want while it's playing and it doesn't affect them. Okay, um, so then the last thing is a pattern. So once you've got uh, all your instruments arranged in a 16 step um, pattern, you can switch to different patterns. So here's pattern two instead of pattern one, right? And so I set the instrument to kick. You can see if I switch back, there it is. So I'll add the same kick drum. <clears throat> and then the, I, I'll, I'll add some variation on the snare. So, um, so we'll go to three, Let's try that. And on this one, I think I want uh, all closed hi-hats and no open. So this will be kind of like a rush fill. Now you can see I switch between them while it's playing and it has no problems. It's just a little hard to read what's, what's actually changing, but because I'm paying attention to pattern one and pattern two, I can switch between them. That's it.